Did you catch that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's getting ready. Every game's got a new story, right? So, trying to prepare for tonight. What's your message to Johnny ahead of uh, what will probably be a pretty emotional return to the game against so many of your former I don't think there's any message you have to send to him. I think he knows. The player knows. He was here. And, and your first one back is always the hardest, no matter if it's hostile, not hostile, whatever. You, you spend a lot of time in one organization. And they went through a lot of uh, ups and downs through it, too. And he was through thick and thin with them. So it, it always has special meaning, no matter what. So tonight, as a group, uh, I don't think uh, we've talked about it. And, and we know what's ahead. It is not, it's not going to be uh, any shock value to it. We're going to go play. Is there a big debate about whether or not Johnny Goodrow should get booed or cheered? Generally, where do you stand on players who go back to their former cities and get booed by their fans? You know, that's, that's the fans' choice. You know, who am I to tell them what they're going to do or what they're going to say? Um, you know, I, I've been through 26 years of pro hockey and seen a lot, and, and we've been through it as an organization, some guys that leave, and our fans weren't happy, right? And, and really the message for Johnny is they're booing for all the right reasons. They really are. They, they want him to stay. And, you know, the player has a right to make a decision. Now, whether we like it or not, that's what the CBA says. So, and that player has a right to make the decision uh, with his family, as long as it takes. And people may or may not like that, but that, that is what's in place. So, uh, it's going to happen again. It, this isn't the first time it's going to happen. It's going to happen more and more and more in, in, in the situations. And so, like I said, the fans have the right to do what they need to do. And for him, he's going to come play hockey. Sometimes your opinion can change on a player when you see them every day as mm-hmm. opposed to a couple of times a year. So more than half a season in, uh, your opinion on Johnny Goodrell when he's brought to your team? Yeah, I love that he's on our team. I can tell you that. Just coaching against him. It wasn't a lot because he was in the West and we are the East. But you know how electric he can be. And, and he, can, he can turn things on a dime, forehand, backhand, his pace of play. Uh, he can dish the puck. He can score. There's a lot of things that he can do that really probably 98% of the league can't do. So to have a guy like that in your, in your lineup consistently, it's been, it's been awesome. His 200-foot game better than people might give him credit for? Yeah, well, you watch him close. Watch how many times he doesn't track pucks. He does. He's always he's always one of the first guys back. He gets it. And like any of the top guys, you know, puck manager is always one of those things where as a coach, you're like, how far, how much leash do you give him? Uh, they're going to turn it over. The top guys in the league generally turn over the puck uh, the most, but you got to give him that rope. You know, as long as you're going to track it and defend it and, and check it if you don't do it, um, and, and so he's a guy that uh, he cares about the 200 foot game. He does. You mentioned how emotional and hard the first game back can be. Do you just, I mean, I guess in terms of managing him as a person, do you want him just to kind of go through it and feel all of that? Yeah, he's, he's not alone. He, he's got a team behind him, he's got a staff behind him, he's got an organization behind him. He's not coming here by himself in one jersey. He's, he's got a whole group behind him here tonight, and, and those guys, so we're with him. And we're with them all the way through this game. Uh, no matter what happens, whatever the score is, we're going to be with them all the way through this game. So uh, he's going to go through it. it. That's what it is. It's not a matter of if. It, he's going through it. And, and, but he's not alone. We're going to be there, right there with him. We've seen the Johnny Goodrow have success with the power play in Calgary here. And when he joined Columbus, I think a lot of people expected that the power play for you guys mm-hmm. would kind of go up a bit. I know it hasn't generally gone that well. Mm-hmm. For those who haven't watched your team as closely throughout this year, can you explain why it hasn't worked as well even with Johnny in? Is it a fit question? Or can you just explain as best as you can why? Yeah, I think early on, you know, we, we put a lot of emphasis into it and in, into uh, our camp. Um, by the second period, Patrick Liney was out, you know, and, and so we worked with that group a lot and he was out for an extended period of time. And so now you're, you're plugging guys in and out and we didn't get off the start we wanted to. Uh, so we, we, we've had guys in and out. If, if you followed our team at all, and you look at the man games lost and some of the quality players we lost with, you know, Jake Forcheck, who was our leading scorer, another great distributor, a guy that he was on the goal line, and, you know, he's been out 30-plus games and out for the year. Uh, you have Zach Kransky, you know, our top guy. He's been out 30-plus games out for the year. You go Jake Bean, he's out for the year. Uh, Dan Forrest, you know, we didn't get Texier back this year. So we, we've gone through a lot, and, and you know, it's not excuses. That's just our reality. And so we've been plugging guys in left and right. There was a game in Philly, uh, what was that, about a month ago. We had nine rookies in our lineup, nine. And really, on probably 11, when you count Olivia and Foodie, they don't have, they have 30 games, they're considered not. So that's just where we've been. And that's our circumstance, and we're dealing with it. And, and you know, so it's been a lot of interchanging, a lot of the best power plays in the league 
It's five man units. I've been together for years, um, and chemistry is built, you know, through that time. And unfortunately, we we haven't been able to put those five guys together consistently, and and that's the key words consistently. So they can go through the ebbs and flows, the ups and downs, and and really learn the nuances of each other on a power play. And that's that's been for me, the number one enemy of us is just not having that that group and consistency. Brad, uh, you, you mentioned the number of rookies in your line. How how's Johnny been away from the rink, or or how's his influence affected this uh, young group that you've got uh, around you? I don't know what he's like. I don't go away with him at the rink or from the rink, so I'm not sure what he's doing there. Uh, he's got a family. He's got a young family, new new baby, right? So he, I know he's busy. Um, but you talk to his teammates; they love him. He's he's a quiet quiet guy we know that he's not a, a boisterous guy but I think you watch him he loves to practice he loves to play he loves to compete like he he, he loves hockey he does um it's the first thing out of his mouth all the time he's like I just love playing and that's infectious that goes through your room and that's where you miss a guy like Jake Borchek you know he, he just loves to compete he loves to be on the ice and so those guys it, for our young guys to watch that's infectious it, and to watch even in a down year like this and the struggle it's been he still seems he's got energy. He still wants to, still wants to be out there and practice and doing things at a high level. And yeah, uh, like all of us, we want to be better. And but he's he brings a certain energy that that a lot of guys don't. This flame team has had its ups and downs this season. What do you what do you see? What, what's their strengths? <laughs> I'm not going to talk about their team. I got enough. I'm going to play with my team. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to worry about our team. Brad, did you know that the players had that clipped up this morning? To- we may or may have not talked about that beforehand. <laughs> I'm not going to confirm nor deny it. Yeah. Uh, just what kind of an icebreaker can that be? Did you, you see his response? Do you think he appreciated it? Yeah, I just think it, it is what it is, right? Like I said, we're preparing for a game tonight, and uh, I got a good feeling we might get a dose of that. Yeah, and for a, a guy in your perspective with a team that sometimes has struggled with emotional attachments to games, how vital can this be tonight? How, how exciting to have a game like this for you? I don't think you worry yourself about that at all. Yeah, I think, you know, Regular season, it, it it can be long and drawn out and they're going to grind. Uh, I think games like this, anytime you come to Canada, there's different energy in the building. There just is. You know, uh, I'm a Canadian guy at heart, grew up and in, in watching the, the Calgary Edmontons uh, play playoffs in, in the Battle of Alberta. So you have that, that vibe anyway, you know, when you grow up in it. I think for our, we have a lot of young guys and it, it's a different feel. It is, and, and and I think embrace it. Like this is this is why you play in the NHL. You want this kind of energy and emotion in it. So don't be afraid of it. Just jump right in. Ronnie, how did, how did you respond this morning when your teammates gave you a, a good yeah. question there when you touched the puck? The yeah, that was funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, just uh, lighten the mood a little bit. Uh, it was it was fun. I, I could barely even stick in. I was laughing so hard going up and down the ice. I assume you had no idea it was coming. No, they did something in the middle. Lars said, uh, get it out of the way now. And then I guess they just kind of ran with it yeah. every time I touched it. Any idea whose, whose idea it was? No, not did sure. suspicions? No, I mean, they were all doing it, so. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, what went through your head when you walked into this building this morning? Yeah, just a lot of memories. Um, you know, it was a special place to play for me. Uh, played here for a long time, so uh, it was weird coming in through the other doors. Um, Almost caught myself walking through the tunnel to go towards the other locker room for a second, but uh, yeah, just a lot of great memories and uh, uh, really cool. Is there one memory that really sticks out to you? Um, I've had a lot of great memories here, but I think I said this before. My favorite one is just uh, after Game Seven last year when Monty's waiting in the tunnel for me, um, waiting to give me a big hug. He was so fired up. So. Uh, it's probably one of my most special memories, I think. You know, just being here with him for nine nine years, uh, it was really cool. Tony, does it make it any, I don't know, more emotional coming back here when your team is struggling the way it is? Like when you sign, did you anticipate the team would have a better record now than it does? No, it's no different. Um, you know, we've, we've been battling with a lot of injuries this season. Um, you know, uh, playing with a lot of young kids and uh, it's been great. It's been great getting to know them. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to, to kind of get to know a lot more people in the organization as uh, you know, cause some kids are getting called up that, that I didn't very, really know very well. Um, but there's, there's no change in that. I know it's, uh, this is going to be you know, a special night for me. I'm, I'm excited to uh, you know, get back here and play in front of uh, you know, all the fans. Your coach just said you know, the first time back is always going to be hard on some level. Is it, is it hard for you being back here? Um, 
No, I know I'm kind of enjoying it. You know, I got to see some old friends. Um, weren't on the team for the Flames, by the way. Um, so Daryl knows. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I got to see some old friends that weren't even a part of the organization and uh, that I got to know really, really well um, and spend some time with them. So um, I've enjoyed it here so far. It's been great, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to tonight. Johnny, you spoke at length about how stressful free agency was for you. Just with the benefit of hindsight, is there anything about your departure or approach to free agency that you regret or would change just having that hindsight? No, I, I wouldn't change anything. I, it, it was so hard on me that you know, I, I knew how special this place was to me. Um, that's why I kind of, you know, looking back, um, you know, a lot of people just, you know, jump right into it, say they're doing free agency. And for me, uh, it was it was a really long time figuring out what I was going to do. It was super, super hard on me. Um, a long month there trying to figure out if I was going to go or not. And uh, um, But I think that's what made it special for me, kind of looking back, is realizing how, how special this place was for me and how much I did love playing here and, uh, you know, so many good memories. And, um, you know, that's what made it so tough. Can you describe what it's been like these last few months having to explain to people why Columbus and not New Jersey or Philadelphia? It just feels as if there's been a lot of people who've probably asked you why you made the decision you made. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it was, it was a great opportunity for, for me and my family. Um, you know, I've got a growing family now, so... Um, you know, we have that distance where, you know, we can kind of do our own thing, but, you know, it's it's close enough where, you know, our families can just you know, walk in the door. I mean, I don't know how many times I've seen my dad just walk in the door not knowing he was going to show up um, and just show up out of the blue. Um, so he's uh, he's been loving that. But, um, yeah, that was, that was important for me. Um, I spoke with my family and my wife, and uh, that was uh, that was really important to me. Johnny, are you... Are you nervous? Have you thought about the reception? Do you anticipate there'll be uh, some booze for you? Yeah. Are you thinking about that? Yeah, no, I mean, they're, they're a passionate fan base here. Oh, that's why I love playing here. Um, I don't expect anything else. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we had some, some good times here, but, um, you know, the way they supported our team um, and supported our players, uh, you know, it, it was it was awesome to be part of, and, and, and they love their flames, so. Um, you know, I'm not on the Flames anymore, so I'm on the other team, so so I get it. Um, but that's what made it so special playing here. Would it be a bit of a compliment if you get booed? Because they're not booing you if they didn't care, if they didn't miss you. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess some people have told me to look at it that way, and, um, you know, uh, I look. I guess I look at it the other way. I don't know why, but I feel like, you know, they don't like me because I'm getting booed. So, um, But, you know, you look at it any way you want. Um, the bottom line is, you know, they they want their team to win. They want the Flames to win, and I'm on the other team, so um, so I get it. I I, uh, I understand. Hey, Johnny, so how different is life off the ice in Columbus as compared to Calgary? Yeah, uh, it's a, it's a little, lot different. Um, just with my own family now, you know, I'm coming home to a kid rather than, um, you know, uh, so uh, it's been different for sure. But um, you know, everyone in Columbus is kind of. You know, welcome me with open arms. Um, you know, every once in a while, I'll run into people and tell me how happy they are. I chose Columbus, and you know, thanking me and stuff. And so, it's been great. It's uh, they they really welcomed me in, and I've really enjoyed my time there. And uh, you know, I'm excited for the future there. Hey, to ask a very specific question, uh, but five years ago, when you were with Calgary, uh, you got to play with your Army Yager for like a handful of games. You got to assist on the one goal he scored here. I know it's a very specific thing, mm -hmm. but. I was just wondering if you could recount just what it was like playing with him as a teammate and go yeah. back to that goal and just kind of relive all. Yeah, I remember like it was yesterday. I mean, it's not every day you get to play with a guy like that. Um, I think it was Brett Kulak chipped the puck out of the zone. We had a 2 on one I zipped it through the guy's stick, and he put it in the net. So um, to play with a player like that, I mean, just, it was a really cool experience and um, got to know him a little bit. and. He's only here for a short period of time, but uh, you know it was really, really fun to play with him and get to know him a little bit. Have you heard from Sean Monahan or, or Chuck? I mean, they've both been back here. Yeah. Already. Yeah. I, I mean, I talk to Monty every other day, pretty much, um, and I'll see Chucky at the All Star game. Me, uh, me, him, and Hayes are going to get together and you know have a little bit of have a dinner there together at his house. But um, yeah, he'll still talk to those guys and uh, kind of get their feedback on how it was coming here. And you know, they said it was tough for sure. And 
Um, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about tonight and see where it goes. Did you hate the cannon less than you used to? Yeah, that, that's definitely grown on me. Um, you know, I kind of don't even hear it in the back of my mind anymore now. But uh, those first few weeks were, were tough. It seemed like my hat's wedding and the picture, like playing post, I think, of a handful of you guys. And that, that sort of felt like sort of the end of an era. Did you guys, looking back at, at his wedding, do, do you feel like that those conversations were taking place then? Did you all kind of know that you were going your separate ways a little bit into a couple of days there? Um, no, not really. I mean, you know, we were so close, uh, me and Monty. I mean, you know, whether he's playing in Europe and I'm playing here, I'm playing in Europe, he's playing here, you know, we'll always, you know, be really, really close friends. We we grew up in this city together. We played here for nine years and, uh, you know, uh, just one of my, you know, closest buddies. So uh, I was just excited, you know, I got to be there on his, his special day and got to see him speak a little bit and he doesn't really speak too, too much. So I got to see him do a couple speeches and whatnot and uh, just a great night, you know, celebrating him and Brett. When exactly, because there seems to be a lot of discussion about, you know, when did you know you were going to leave? And again, so sorry for a specific question again, but when exactly did you know you were going to leave for Columbus? Or just leave the finals? Yeah, I mean, it was right down on the wire there. I was still, I think it was the last night there, I was still talking to, to the ownership group here in Tree, and um, that's why it was so hard on me, because, you know, I, I loved it. I loved playing here. I was so comfortable here. I loved my teammates here. Coaching staff was great for us last year, and um, the city treated me unbelievable. The fans, you know, everyone. So um, that's what made it so difficult. I, I, uh, at the end of the day, you know, that day, uh, I thought it was best for me to, to go somewhere to go a different direction. But um, you know, it was it was I, like I said, I, it was a hard week, two weeks, three weeks throughout that whole month, and uh, just uh, you know didn't know what I was going to do and. You know, kind of you know, had to make a last minute decision and, you know, decided to go to free agency. So the plan to boo Johnny Gaudreau at morning ski today, how did that come about? <laughs> I don't know. I think I talked about it a little bit on the bus. We probably should do it, get him warmed up for it. Um, and then Lars came in the room and thought the same thing. So we went at him. Is it fair to say that if he gets booed tonight, you don't boo somebody that you don't care about, basically. By the fans booing him, it shows that they care and are upset that he's still not here. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. I think, I mean, there's going to be a lot of emotions in the building. He spent a long time here, did a lot of great things. Um, and he's a tremendous hockey player that, <clears throat> you know, was at a crossroads and, and, and made a decision. And, um, yeah, I, I, this fan base is, is so good that, of course, they're going to feel it, for sure. Um, you know, there's gonna. I'm sure there's gonna be lots of happiness and and you know a little bit of sadness and, and a little bit of frustration with them. I, I, you know, I think that's what comes with you know a big time free agent move like that. So, um, you know, I think he's prepared for whatever is gonna come his way tonight. For you, what's it like to be back here, and what do you reflect on when you do come to the doors? Yeah, I I, I I got nothing but good memories about this building. I was really excited to come here. Um, the, the city was awesome. Um, you know, the team was awesome. Coaching staff was great. I mean, I, I had a lot of really, really good moments that I'll never forget here. So, um, for me, it's it's all positive. Eric, just, you both go to free agency, you both land in Columbus, and you both have young families. You guys are kind of going through different parts of your professional career, but just the idea that you guys are kind of going through this journey together, to a degree. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's been great. Um, I mean, I've done it a lot more than he has, so... Um, you know, just having that familiar face and going through the same situation, um, you know, has, has been really good. We live very close to each other. Our wives, you know, uh, hit it off really well last year and become have become really good friends. So, um, you know, like anybody, you know, has that friend. You're, you, you know, he's kind of the buddy you lean on, and I think it, I think it's reciprocated my way too. What it's more the wives though, isn't it? You got stuck with him. You kind of get the line <laughs> and the stick. There. Yeah, I'd rather hang out with his wife than him, anyways. <laughs> What role do you think you played in getting Johnny to Columbus? Uh, I mean, that, that's a better question for him, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I, I I'd made the decision to come here, and, and I think, you know, if in the situation he was in, if he was planning on leaving, then having that familiar face, maybe that helped, but that'd be speculation from me, purely. You, you didn't lobby him at all once? <laughs> no. I don't know if it's you know, hard or easy in the grand scheme of things for him today, 
Yeah, it's obviously exciting, but probably a little bit difficult. I mean, just as a friend and as a teammate, what do you tap them on the back? Let them know you're you're there. I mean, what, what do you do today? No, I I think you know this is something that that is unique to him. I mean, as I said, he did he did some great things here, um, and. You know, in front of a very passionate fan base, and, and, and however the reaction is going to be tonight, um, it'll be directed towards him. But he's going to have a full lineup behind him, supporting him, and, and playing hard for him. Um, you know, he's on he's on a team, and and, and he's got the boys behind him for sure. So do you guys want it a little more than I for him? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Eric, do you do you prepare mentally to get food? I know it's a weird question, but when you're in that environment, how does a guy prepare for the possibility? I don't know, man. I don't think I've ever been booed. Maybe, maybe for something I've done, not to the level that something like, like tonight. I, I, I don't know. You show up and you play. Honestly, you, you show up, you do what you're good at, um, and and you get, you know, you probably get a, you know, a, a hyper focus towards the task at hand, um, and, and just dive right into that, you know, and and um, enjoy the game. Are you giving the that as well like if you look back and say you had a pretty good connection here in Calgary yeah oh yeah um <clears throat> I mean I've played lots of places but you know Calgary stands out to me for sure as I said I I absolutely loved it here and they gave me a great chance to get my game back on track and you know we had a a, a great team last year and and fell short but I, I got nothing but positives uh, positive memories of this place have you given any thought to what reception you might get tonight uh yeah, maybe a little bit, but I, I, I have no clue what it'll be.